Hello everyone, I've had a request to do a Code Forces problem called Even and Not. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss what this problem is, how did I particularly try to solve it, and going forward. Now, I have read the problem already. I haven't tried coding it yet, but we're going to try to do that together. Um, so if there's any problem solving or, or uh, if I can't do it, I just want to upload the video. But if you're seeing this, I figured it out, so we're going to be good to go. Um, so we're going to take a look at what's going on here. Now, when looking at this, we have an even odd problem. Um, some uh, some name that I cannot pronounce is displayed with the current state of things, particularly the order of natural numbers. Okay, he wants to rearrange them. Okay, there are too many natural numbers. So he decided to start with uh, first n. He writes down the sequence of numbers. First, he does all the odd numbers from 1 to n in ascending order. Then he does all the even numbers. Help our hero find out what number to stand in position number k. So the idea here is the very first number says, okay, we're going to have 10 numbers, and we're going to line up all the odd numbers first. Then we're going to line up all the even numbers. And then we just have to figure out what the third or fifth or whatever one we have. Now, this right here is 10 to the 12th. Um, I'm not a, I don't think that fits inside of an integer, so we're going to be using some longs um, there. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it does, though. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to then um, do... Um, I read 64-bit numbers. I should have just seen that. Yeah, it has to be a long for, for Java. Uh, print out the uh, uh, position K. Now, since we are doing this by odds, I know the formula to figure out this just by explicitly saying that. And that should be um, whatever the position is times 2 minus 1. So for all the, uh, all the odd ones, that's pretty straightforward there. Um, if I want the third one, well, three times um, three times two is six. Six minus one is five. Uh, same true as with this one. This is the fifth one. Five times two is ten. Minus one is nine. It'll work true for all odd. Now I have to come up with a way to do evens. Now the even way is um, pretty easy. All we have to do is take it and times two, and that would be the formula for it. However, since it's getting tacked on after the odd, we have to find out wh where is that breakpoint. And uh, um, if we're looking at that position, we have to subtract that to kind of normalize that particular piece. So in this particular pa uh, page, this is 6. Well, the halfway point is six, is 5. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 5. Yes, the halfway point is 5 because that's the last one. So we would have to do 6 minus Five first, and or the midpoint, and then multiply by two. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. We're gonna try it out um, and see what happens. I don't know. Um, and again, if we have anything like that, we have to debug. We'll figure that along along the way. So let's go ahead and open Eclipse. I already have it here. Perfect. Um, and I'm gonna make my scanner here. Scanner scan equals new scanner system dot n. Now, uh, um, the next thing that we're going to do in here is we are going to take in, and I want it to be a long. I want it to be a long because I do know that these are going to be very large, and we're going to do uh, um, what do they call it? K? No, they call it n. So n is going to be equal to scan dot next long. We're going to have a long k as well, so we'll do scan dot next long here great now I also want to find out what the midpoint is so I'm just going to do um, long mid and mid is going to be um, n divided by 2 that's going to be the midpoint now I'm pretty sure if I just do k is less than mid and we'll actually do I'm not quite sure if I have to do equal to or not I think I have to do is equal Okay, and then I'm going to make that an odd because if it's if it's ten divided by five, five was nine, so that yeah that needs to be included. So we're going to do system out dot print ln, and then we are going to do the formula, which was two k minus one is what I ended up saying. Otherwise, it's an even number, right? 
So we're going to do system out dot print ln, and then we are going to do k minus mid, which normalizes it, and then we're going to multiply by two. This should work. Let's I'm going to hit save here. Um, I'm going to hit run here as well. Okay, and that open that clears that out, and we'll copy this test case in here. That worked. Copy this one here, copy. Oops, I don't want the debug. And then we'll paste this one in here like that. Uh-oh, did I mess it up? I'm messing up things. Okay, and that says it's eight. Is eight the correct answer? It's six. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Let's first off get off of this debug piece here. I ended up pressing the wrong button here. And I don't even know why these highlighting things are here, so let's stop that for a second. Let's just close let's just close this out and see if that messes everything back up. Open that back up. I messed the view up. So I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna go file class here and I'm just gonna call this um, even odds two. I'm just gonna paste this code over. My computer is not happy with me doing the recording and the programming at the same time. So let's run this one time. Let's see if we are okay. Seven and seven should be odd. So let's do that. Seven and seven. We're getting eight. Now the now they're saying that the um, that should be the very last one, which would have been six. So do I have to do a uh, let's do let's go back to our previous example. We want to get two, so that would be ten six. So let's go ahead and test that out real quick. Ten, ten and six. I'm getting two. Okay. Get ten and ten. I get 10. Okay, so it looks like it's even working pretty good. I think it's having a little bit of difficulty whether or not it's odd or even. So let's go back in here and play around. And we'll play around with a three and one. That should be one. Let's do three and two. That's two, and that's a problem. All right. So what we're gonna need to do here is that should have been a three and it's messing up whether or not it's odd. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna manually fix it, I guess. So if n mod two is odd, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do mid plus plus. I'm not 100% sure if that's gonna fix every case, but we'll find out. I click OK. I'm going to do seven and seven and seven. That gave me a six. Let's go back to my other example here of three and two. OK, and that works. And then let's make sure I get three and three, and that gives me should give me two. Great. Um, let's go back to our previous example and make sure we're good to go there. So we'll do ten and three, which gives me five. And then we'll do 10 and five, which should give me nine. Great. And then we'll do 10 and six, which gives me two. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this code. I'm just gonna copy it. And then we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna submit this, see if it's right. So um, submit code to this problem here. And it's going, it's going. All right, we're gonna paste our code in here like so. 
and we're going to hit submit and we're going to either be really happy or very sad. It's gotten to test eight. Where are we at? To us 22 and accepted. So yeah, that's it right there. Um, so we got accepted on there. So this little hack here did work. Um, we did have to kind of to tell if it was an odd or a little even there. And I kind of did not um, did not take that into account. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put this in the comments. Um, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Well, have a great day.